What's good everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is The Chill Soul and I will be showing you all how to get the most out of your healer ninja tools. I'm sure this video will help anyone or any newcomers to the game or even experienced players or even clan members. So I hope you all enjoy this video. Okay, so Shorty said she loved me, but she never ever showed me. Shorty said she loved me, but she talking to my homie. Shorty said she loved me, and she never ever leave me. Broken and I'm bleeding, on my knees and grieving. I will never love. All right, so this right here I call the basic throw. Now before I get into what the basic throw is, I want to explain to you guys what a ceiling tag is. A ceiling tag is a ninja tool that slows your movement speed and also decreases your ninjutsu recovery. The basic throw is exactly how it sounds, it's a basic throw. Throwing the ceiling tag in this way is a great way to get the upper hand advantage on your opponent's slow movement speed. Now if you pair this with nervous system rupture, it's OP bro, think about it. Slow movement speed with reverse controls, it's crazy. This is definitely something I would start off the combo with, especially for all those very uh, agile players out there. Mid combo throw. You gotta keep your opponents on their toes, man. Throwing the ceiling tag mid combo is a great way to surprise your opponent and limit their abilities at the same time and or even continue your combo. As a healer, we don't really have much combos but pressing square. Or I guess you can incorporate the triangle button, but that's that's way too slow to put in an actual combo. So what I would usually do to extend that was to um, throw a ceiling tag. Simple as that. My favorite out of all the throws, defensive throw. The reason this is my favorite is because this is for all those aggressive players out there. I'm sorry, but I gotta do it to you. When all they do is rush and charge, you can simply interrupt by throwing a ceiling tag. As you can see, even though I was hit, I was able to avoid a full combo and even taking more damage or even possibly dying. You know, the attackers got hands, but I got more hands. I want all the smoke. Substitution throw. Now, piece of advice, you should always have synergy in all your builds. Your substitution should always flow with the rest of your build. Use this to your advantage. Now, for example, slow movement with my ceiling tag plus an explosive clone as a substitution equals what? Not enough time to dodge. Obviously, this is a bot, plus he has Shiningan and it's Itachi, so you know he's already five steps ahead of me. Look at this. As soon as I substitute, this guy just dodges it. I don't understand. I'm telling you, man, these bots, if you want to get your agility up, I would train with them, man. Train with them, see what they do. You know what? I might, I might cover a video on that one day. This right here, I call the evasive throw. Now, if you're good at dodging jutsus, why not kill two birds with one stone and damage them at the same time that you're dodging the jutsu? If you're not the best at dodging, that's fine. Like I said before, I would recommend training with the bots and just learning what their evasive uh, maneuvers are. This will really help, especially when you're in one of those 1v4 moments in a team match or even survival. And once you get it down, you'll be able to look as cool as me dodging Naruto's Rustin Shuriken. Now, this right here is exclusively for healers. The reason why is because healers are the only class that are able to break guards using the triangle button. Now, I call this the break mid throw. When you break an opponent's guard, they're basically stunned for a good amount of time. They're already screwed, so you might as well put in some extra damage, you feel me? Since they can't help but watch themselves get destroyed. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with watching my videos. But whenever my opponent's guard is broken or they used all their substitutions and they can't help but to catch these hands, I like to talk a little smack. So that's one of the perks of being a healer and being able to break guards. Hey yo, Kakashi next clip. <laughs> 
What's an elite team without some heels? I call this the team heel throw. Are you tired of getting jumps and want to add some jutsus to your build? Some damage in jutsus? Well, never fear, the healing seal is here. I use the healing seal to heal nearby teammates in danger and still be able to get some kills on my own. Or you can even run an all heal build, literally. The only thing on your build that's not a healing jutsu would be your substitution. You would literally be the ultimate healer for team matches. Think about it. Self-healing throw. All this effort you're putting into healing your team, why not heal yourself? It's very helpful, especially if you don't want to use a healing ninjutsu on yourself, just in case a team member might need it. You don't want to waste a good cellular extraction just to heal yourself. What happens if one of your teammates is low? or two of your teammates are low at the same time. Now you don't have a juicer to heal them. Pay close attention to my health bar. As soon as I threw the healing seal, my health drastically went up. Now tell me that's not a good tool to use. Oh yeah, and um, disregard the description to this healing seal. I know it's for basic kunai. Oh, oh, huh. hey, hey, hold on. I'm gonna have to wrap on these for a second, man. But yeah, disregard the description to this healing seal. I think it might have been a glitch. Hey, yo, Kakashi, next clip. This right here, I call the third arm throw, if you feel what I'm saying. <laughs> I use this as an extension of my arms because if you know, you're a, if you're a healer, you know that the range for healer types are very small so it's always good to use a kunai to you know basically give you some more leverage some more length and that's the end i appreciate you chilling with me and soaking up all these elite ninja tactics and i hope to see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe your boy is out peace Touch her freaking touch hand. Touch your hand. Uh, she gon' throw her back handstand. Uh, I'ma run it up. Uh, I'ma run no bands. Uh, run it rubber band, man. Cause I like the flex. Uh,